Creating effects in Premiere is the best way to become an excellent video editor. You will learn to use all the tools, effects and so much more extremely fast. Today we're gonna create three amazing effects, starting with a simple one and then going more advanced further in the video. Number one, a haunted mirror effect. This one is super simple. First, film yourself one time, but don't look into the mirror. Play with your t-shirt or something. Then for the second shot, do the same thing, but then suddenly do something scary. Look yourself in the eye for example. Now put both the clips into Premiere with the scary clip on top of the normal clip. Then with the top clip selected, go to the effect controls and look for opacity. Then click the pen tool to create a mask. Head over to the program monitor and create a mask around the mirror. If needed, you can always increase the feather of the mask just in case the lightning is a little different in both shots. And there you go, a simple haunted mirror effect. Next one is a little more advanced. You're gonna learn how to throw a ball at yourself. To do that, grab your wife or your son or whoever is sitting next to you and go stand in front of each other. Throw the ball multiple times and try to throw it at the same height, then switch places and do the same thing. There you go. Now in Premiere, you should have one clip of you throwing the ball on one side and another one of you catching the ball from the other side. Then move the playhead to the spot where the ball is in the air. With the clip selected, press M to set a marker. You'll understand why in a second. Now in the program monitor, enable the rulers. That way you can drag guides out of them. Try to fit them around the ball. We're doing this because we're gonna match cut the ball with the second clip. Now make sure the first clip is selected and head over to the effect controls. Then in here, go to opacity and click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask around the left side of the video so that only you are visible. Now that that's done, go to the second clip in the timeline and find a spot where you're catching the ball. Find the frame where the ball fits exactly into the box we created. Then with the clip selected, press M on your keyboard again to set a marker on that moment. Now drag the clip to the left and snap both the markers against each other. Lastly, increase the feather of the mask we created earlier to blend the ball in perfectly. There you go, beautiful. Next, we're gonna jump in a mug or cup that I got from my lovely grandmother. But first I wanna tell you about a plugin for Premiere Pro that will increase your productivity as a video editor. You can download all kinds of stock assets like drone shots, nature clips, space videos or very specific clips you need for your project. Inside this plugin, you will find thousands of pre-made professional video templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. This plugin is from Storyblocks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality videos in one place. With over a million 4K in HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost monthly or annually. You can say goodbye to expensive paper clip pricing. You can enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Starblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Starblocks will always keep you legally covered from copyright strikes, claims or anything like that. That way you can actually focus on creating and not wasting time on checking legal rights. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to starblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Oh, just or just click the link down below. And now let's jump in a cup of coffee or diet coke in my case. So we're basically jumping in a cup of coffee but while you're jumping we're gonna change the focus from the background to the cup. Don't worry you don't need anyone to help you you can do this all by yourself. First film yourself pretending to jump into a cup of coke or whatever you like. Make sure your video is focused in the background. Then for the second shot you want to change the focus on the cup and the instant it's focused drop something heavy in it for example a coin. Once you're done shooting open up the clips in Premiere. Alright, so first on the clip you're jumping, trim the right side to the moment you're at the highest in the air. Then go to the second clip where you're focusing and go to the moment where you're fully focused on the cup. Then set a cut right here. Move the playhead to the moment of the splash and trim everything away before. Then snap the clips together like this. There you go. You can also snap both the clips to the first one now. Next we're gonna fix this ugly jump cut in our cup and to do that duplicate the middle clip and put it on top. Then extend it to the beginning. Make 
make sure the clip is selected and go to the effect controls. Then in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. Head over to the program monitor and draw a mask around your cup. You can slightly increase the feather of the mask or just leave it at 10. All right, next, duplicate the clip where you're jumping, then extend it until it snaps against the end of the middle clip. Also trim the first part so the length is the same as this one. Now select the clip and go to the effect controls. Then click the pen tool and head over to the program monitor. Draw a mask around yourself carefully. It doesn't have to be super super precise, but just do your best. Then head back to the effect controls and click the mask pad stopwatch. Now move one frame further in time and adjust the mask around yourself. Keep doing that for about 5 frames and when you're done, increase the feather of your mask to blend it with your video. Now leave the playhead where it is and go to the timeline. Then right click your clip and choose add frame hold. We're gonna animate this freeze frame to make you disappear in your cup. First, right click the frame hold and choose nest. This is needed for the next effect to work. Now find the transform effect in the effect library and add it to the nested sequence. Then with your playhead at the beginning, set a position keyframe. Move further in time and lower your position. You don't need to disappear entirely because this animation is super fast anyway. Now increase the shutter angle to add motion blur and we're almost done. Lastly, duplicate the clip of the cup we masked out earlier. Trim it down to the same length as the frame hold. Make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. And here, remove the mask we created earlier and then click the pen tool to create a new one. In the program monitor, draw a new mask on the outside of the cup to make it look like you're jumping inside your coffee. There you go. You can always increase the feather again if needed. There you go. That looks amazing. Next, you guys are gonna create some awesome transitions in the next lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.